everybody, it's Christina. Welcome to my channel. Um, I got some craziness going on in my brain right now. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I have these two uh, mason jar signs that I got from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of here. And then I am also going to take these off of here. So I'm just got my little Cricut spatula thing and I'm just going to pry these up like that. I am going to save these because I'm probably going to be using them. Okay, then I'm going to get this paper off of here. I'm not sure if it's going to show or not in my little DIY what I'm doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape this off right here I'll probably take a razor blade and cut that and then get this scraped off okay so now here is where <clears throat> I get a little crazy so I have one of these boxes that I got from Dollar Tree and what I want to do is I want to take this piece off of here so I'm gonna try not to cut myself and I'm just gonna kind of score along this line right here where it's glued into the box. If you can see that, this little panel is glued and I'm gonna try to take this panel out of here. So I am just going to, <clears throat> excuse me, put a couple score lines here and try not to hurt myself. If I can get it in the in the lines and then also on the bottom here if I can get my knife in there in the right area that one's proving to be a little more difficult okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to break this piece oh that wasn't so bad Okay, so that came off pretty easy, actually. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sand sander, and I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit around here and get it, you know, somewhat smooth and try to get the glue off of there. Okay, now that I have that all cleaned up, um, I'm going to take these wood planks that I got from Dollar Tree, and those are going to get attached to my box. Now, they're a little bit bigger, than, um, than my box, so I'm just going to have to split the difference on each side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree, wood glue super glue, and put that on there. And then I'm also going to use my um, hot glue gun so I can get an instant hold on there. And then I am going to try to carefully center my block on here and push that down. Hopefully I get a decent seal. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another one and then that is gonna go on top of that one. I'm actually going to go kind of around the outside and then and that one's going to go right on top of that one. Might be off just a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Alright, and then I'm going to take the other two and do that on the other side. Okay, I had some clamps on here to make sure that this was um, going to stay glued together. So I'm going to take those off of there. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little signs that I have here, and those are going to get put right here on my boxes. So now I have a little bit of room little where it doesn't touch in there. So I'm going to have to glue 
on these two little pieces of wood here. So I'm trying to decide if I should use wood glue. I'm not going to be able to clamp it. So I think, uh, I think I might try a mixture of each. Let's see. So I'm going to place this. I'm just going to be covering that edge of the box right here, right there. So I guess let's just give it a shot and see how it works. So I'm going to put some wood glue on here and then I'm going to put hot glue in between the wood glue and we'll see what happens. Still waiting for that to get a little bit warmer. I got to just see here. All right. All right, I'm going to try to go quick and put my hot glue in here. And hopefully this works out. All right, and then I'm going to hold it. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put this one on the other side. Okay. I have my, which kind of looks like a monstrosity right now, all done. And I'm going to take this plaster color uh, Waverly chalk paint and I'm probably going to need a couple coats. Um, I'm going to say probably at least, at least two because I'm going to have to color up this green on here. And I am basically going to paint the whole thing around and the top here. And after I get that done, I will come back and show you what I am trying or attempting to make. Okay, I am back. It's been a couple days. Um, this has been sitting here, and I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do what my plan is to do. Um, I cut out some of these skewer sticks from Dollar Tree, and I painted them the same color as uh, my my project, I guess you could call it here. And what I'm going to attempt to do now is take some wood glue and I'm going to put it on one side of the stick right here, of this um, skewer stick, and I'm going to attempt to glue this a little bit above this ledge right here. So I'm probably going to have to hold that for a little bit. So it's on there, it is not dry yet, but <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other skewer stick and that is gonna get glued onto here with leaving just a little bit of a gap. Okay, I got those on there. I don't know how well you can see this, but I just have these dull rods on here and there's just a little bit of room underneath there. And I'll show you why I did that in a little bit. But first of all, I want to get um, this decorated. So I'm going to be, I took these off of the mason jars originally. And I am going to put those back on, on each side. Okay, then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate them. So I'm just going to lay this down. I know it's going to be kind of hard for you to see um, by doing that. But I got these stickers from Dollar Tree, which I've used these on quite a few projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate my um, mason jars with these stickers. So what I plan on doing is, I think I'm going to use some hot glue, but... I'm just going to stick these lightly on here for now. Is I'm going to put one up kind of in each corner and then I think I'm going to take uh, I'll take Wish. And that's going to go in the middle here like that. 
And then on the other side, I think I'm going to take Cherish. And that's going to go on the other side just like this one is. So I'm going to um, actually use my hot glue gun and um, make sure these are stuck on really good. I have those on there. I think it looks pretty cute. I'm liking that kind of more vintage look. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I have some of this um, burlap trim that I got from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to take some of that and I'm going to kind of tuck it in on the ends here and then I'm just going to go across the top because I think it's just going to be too hard to put um, jute on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and hot glue that down on both sides. Okay, I have both of those sides done. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that's bothering me is this side here. It's just so plain, but I like the rest of it. Um, I don't know if this needs a little bit more. I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice the way it is. But I think what I'm going to do is I have some of this um, metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I am going to cut out a piece that's going to go on my box right here. And I am going to do my best to try to hot glue this down. This stuff is kind of hard to glue down. But I'm going to do what I can. So I'm going to cut two strips off, one for each side. I'm going to have to measure it a little bit better because I don't want any metal sticking up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut those out, try to flatten these out a little bit, and then see if I can't hot glue them down onto here. Okay, I have them cut out. Now I am going to attempt to hot glue them. I'm just going to put some hot glue on these bigger pieces on here, and we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna hold it down. Okay, it seems to be stuck on there pretty decent. Not all the hot glue held in every spot, but I don't know, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this other decorative piece on the other side. Okay, now to finish this up, um, what I did was I took some of these um, flexible cutting mats that I got from Dollar Tree and I cut out this little shape right here. Now. It is not the best looking and you know I probably in hindsight I should have used my Cricut to cut it so it would have looked a lot better but anyways so this piece that I cut out should fit right underneath here so it's like a little lid for that so what I am going to do is I'm actually going to use this as a tissue box. Okay, so I have my tissues here I just slid them out of the side of the box here. And I am going to attempt to get these in here. So what I'm going to do, let's see, am I on camera? I know my lighting is not very good. In the camera, it looks really dark. I hope it comes out a lot brighter. Okay, so I'm going to pull this Kleenex up. And then I'm just going to kind of fold these two edges together. And then I'm going to stick these in my box. And then I'm going to attempt to... Slide this in here and then get that Kleenex pulled up through there. Get in there. Okay, and then the idea is that it's supposed to hold when I pull a tissue out. So, yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so since this little piece didn't work, I had to go back to the drawing board. And what I did, or what I'm trying, attempting to do, is I have these jumbo popsicle sticks that I got from Walmart. And I am cutting them out right now to fit on my box here. So I got one cut out and then I'm going to get the other one cut out. So I'm going to stick these in here where they're supposed to go. So like this. And then... It, this is still won't work because these edges are going to lift up. But I think if I put a little piece of wood on top of here, I think it should hold. <clears throat> so 
I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, some little, a little section out of here to fit in the middle of each one. And then I am going to hot glue those together. Okay, I have my pieces cut out and I have this all laid out how I want it. And now I am going to hot glue my wood piece onto here and then on the other side. Sometimes you have to get inventive when your original plan doesn't work out. All right, let's see how this works. So let's see. All right. Okay, it slides, that's good. All right, let's get the Kleenexes in there. All right, I'm gonna slide this back off. I'm gonna grab my Kleenexes here. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> my husband's in the kitchen. All right, and then I'm gonna stick my Kleenexes in the box. Oh, is that? Let's try this again. I know it's not like you can't put a bunch of Kleenexes in here. All right, I'll stick it in there. And then I am going to slide my piece in here. Oh, let's put it the right way. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it's a little tight because of the Kleenexes, but oh, I don't have them set in there right. But it seems to be working. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paint this the same color as the box because it'll just look goofy if it's not. Let's see if I can put this craft to bed. Now, um, I was kind of fooling around with my Kleenexes, so I don't know if it's good. <laughs> I tried to put them back together, so I don't know how well it's gonna they're going to pull out. But I decided that it's probably best if I put it in the middle. So I just pull the one Kleenex up and then just kind of fold it on like this. So let's see. And I did stick this in here and it's a little tight now that I painted it. But after a while the paint will probably loosen up and it'll be better. So let's slide that on. Get that all in there. And we'll give it a shot. All right. It's on, and now let's try to pull the Kleenexes out. Oh, yeah, see I didn't have the Kleenexes quite how I should have had them. <laughs> okay, so I put a few back together and they didn't quite work, but it is working, so it's all done. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. This was definitely a labor of love. I mean, it was kind of crazy, but I think it turned out really cute. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put it in my office at work. So that is it. Um, it's all finished. You'll have to let me know what you think, or should I have not gone so far with this one? It's, it was a little overboard. I know. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video, even my little mess ups. And I would love it if you like this video and share it and subscribe. If I didn't say that, I don't even know what I'm saying. And um, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. And take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.